Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. Marla on camera. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And Marla has got her hoodie up over her nose because her nose is so cold. It is cold today. In the UK, we have had rain for months and the cloud has gone. We've got beautiful blue skies, but we get the cold with that. But I don't mind. It'll kill all the bugs. We'll have some nice frost tonight. Perfect. What I'd like to show you now is how we are going to pot up our hellebore seedlings that we've just dug up from outside. The first one I dug up, I think I damaged, but we'll blow them out and we'll see what happens to it. It should be all right. So for this, we need a pair of glasses, a pot from the supermarket, or a, you know, a, a, a proper um, gardening pot if you want. Uh, needs good drainage, so stick it on top of your compost like that, and then give it a stab with a pencil or a screwdriver to get some holes in the bottom. Now we're gonna fill this up a little bit on the bottom like that. Marla, can you show the people? There we are, so that's got good drainage in it. This is made of sand, about a third gritty sand, a third topsoil, and about a third recycled grow bags or old um, uh, bedding plant pots that you had from last year. Uh, give it a good sieve and it turns into this. This is, I use this for so many things. Actually, I'm gonna tell you about it. I use this for so many things because it's low in nutrition um, and it has all the essential little elements that are needed, the uh, trace elements that you get in topsoil. Um, and it's got good drainage and low nu nutrition. Did I say those twice? Okay, it doesn't matter, does it? Does it matter, Marla? No. no, it doesn't matter. Um, and so I use it for several things. I use it for the cyclamen, I use it for my agapanthus, and I also use it as a seed mix, and we use it for potting up seedlings and putting seed in. Ever such a good thing to uh, have in your greenhouse. If you've got time to make some up, make some up and save it for a bit later. Anyway, I'm rambling now, aren't I? A little oh, bit. Yeah, I have a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the glasses, and Marla, if you'd like to spin in here and show people our seedlings that we've dug up. Now, we don't wanna damage the roots on these. We wanna be ever so careful, because they're ever so young. You normally transplant them when they're a bit bigger than this. Um, I've got another bit of root there from something else. I'm going to pull that off. And then I'm just going to place it very gently like that there. Now I'm going to get the next one. Here's one here. And as you can see, it's... Uh... Oh, actually, that's not... Yeah, can you see the difference there? Difference in the leaves? That is not a uh, hellebore seedling. Or is it? No, it's not. No, it doesn't look right to me. So we're going we're gonna to get rid of that. And we're going to move on to this one. See, they've got, they're have they quite distinct once you get used to them. They've got this sort of snaky thing when you uh, pull them out. And anyway, push that in there. And then, Marla, just spin it over here a little bit more. We're going to get these last two out. That, that, that one I threw away. I think it might have been one, actually. But, but there we go. We've got hundreds. And another one here. Do it quickly before everyone gets bored. Oh, I've got one here. Look. That one there has been eaten by the slugs. <laughs> so the best thing to do if you've got a slug problem, grow lots and lots and lots. Right, so we've got those four in there. I'm just going to tip a bit of soil around the edges like this, keep it up like that. And you can be quite reasonably, you've got to be careful with them, but they will take, they're tough plants, Hellebore. They really are quite tough plants, even when they're seedlings. So that's in like that. I'm going to stick a label in it. Like this, Marla, if you'd like to show the people, uh, saying hellebore and the date that it's going in. We're on the 18th of January. That goes in there like that. And I'm going to give it a bit of water and um, I'm going to stick it outside again. That's where they were growing. That's where they're going to go again. Keep an eye on it. And once they've grown uh, a couple of true leaves, um, then we're going to pop them up into um, other pots or maybe even just plant them straight out into our hellebore beds and see how they get on. The slugs might get them because they'd be quite small, but there we go. Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix rambling on and on and on. I don't know what's got into me. Uh, with Marla on camera uh, showing you how to pot up your, lift, your little um, free hellebore seedlings. Thanks for watching.